Yeah, and Taylor Swift would be like, I don't need your country. It's not about the money. I have money. I don't care about your country. Well, 95% of the country depends on me financially. The top 5% have their own fucking money, regardless. And they could travel anywhere with their fucking money. The other 95% depend on me financially to sustain their fucking lives. Where's my money? My society is being held fucking hostage. You know what I mean? Like, it's ridiculous. I get nothing, and it's being held hostage by some stupid-ass bitch. Some stupid, retarded-ass fucking bitch. Malicious, evil. Just wants to fucking fuck me up. And then we got this fucking worker, Mr. Fucking Faggot-ass fucking Blue Green Eye motherfucker. Nothing against people with blue green eyes, but this blue green eyed motherfucker sits there and goes, Well, we gotta contact the conservative office. Then, then like, he goes, Well, it looks like you have, we have, you know, the, the holiday season, we have New Year's, so you don't have an appointment until uh, the payment came on December 30th. He said, Well, we won't have an appointment until after that. Then somebody did a hack, somebody gave. More open appointment list takes instead of the computer. The military did. And he's like, oh, it looks like some more spaces opened up. Then he's like, oh, well, um, I can get you on January 4th. You lying piece of shit. You lying ass piece of shit. You just said an earlier date opened up and now you disregard it. And then he says, well, we got to get people documentation from probate court, you know, to prove that, you know, I'm like, listen, the probate court is fucking dysfunctional. They don't give paper documentation. And the conservator is refusing to answer their fucking phone. Just fucking believe me. You can, I'll contact my fucking attorney if you want to at the probate hearing. Who's there? He'll confirm the probate has been fucking canceled. So what? I don't, I don't, I don't side. So I have nothing. So fuck this country. Fuck all of you. I'm going to get out of the fucking country. Fuck all of you. Or fix it. Military. Go get on that shit and fix it. Give my retarded ass fucking mom her fucking call on January 3rd or 4th, whichever one it is. I'm sure it's the 4th, she says the 3rd, but give her the fucking call and say, okay, you're the representative of Haiti now. We believe you. We'll play some psychopathic fucking faggot ass game with you. And we'll just fucking give you the fucking, the, not conservative, it's been terminated, the representative pay position. They keep playing these fucking games with me. The fuck are you getting me for? The fuck have I done for fucking me? Nothing. What piece of fucking shit? Well, not all of you, but it's ridiculous. None of you give me jack fucking shit. I go to a bar, I socialize with the girl. Um... I get into the fucking thought that uh, the, the bartender fucking murdered her fucking husband for her fucking property. Which may not be true, but I'm pretty sure it's true. I'm pretty good at these things. Oops. And, um... But, I mean, it wasn't about that. I never said directly. I just said, that, oh, you were going to the property. Like, you know, I didn't, like, you know, just blast out in the open. And then I come back here and this fat bitch is like, oh, we're not serving you anymore. I'm like, bro, I don't need your fucking... Serving me bullshit, bro. I go to the other bar, or the other bar, or the other fucking bar. I need your fucking bar for some fucking reason. Um. Then I went to this other bar, and there was a bartender there who worked for the military. I think she's active in the military, and she gave me a handshake. That was pretty cool. But really, like, just somebody transferred me a bunch of fucking money or something. I don't need drugs, I don't need that. I just need some fucking money. I don't want to force a guy this fucking building and not take meds. Like, last night I didn't take meds. You know, I'm feeling perfectly fine. Um, stop making me obese. I have a little tooth chip from a fucking hospital dentist. My teeth had this scar and whitening. I didn't brush it in like three days. You know what I mean? <sighs> It's like, bro, where, how would I benefit from any of this bullshit? The trick in the second bar I went to was pretty cool. She was like, hello, my friend. 
I'm like, that's a very wicked fucking uh, hell of statement you made. And I told her, I've been standing here my whole life. Everything I've seen twice. Now it's time I realize every time I'm falling. Save me because I'm falling. Know what I mean, though? Get on the SSI shit and fix it. Or if what, I'll get my military fucking contract. Yes, I'm a four-star military fucking officer, yes. No, they don't pay me anything. The entire military fucking knows me. Like, bro, it's, it's unquestionable. But where's my fucking money, military? Nine years of fucking service. Nine years of fucking service that I gave to you through endless trauma. You don't pay me a goddamn fucking thing. Pay me.